Hey guys, uh, back here with uh, another update on the go-kart. Uh, we got uh, some new tires and rims on the front. So uh, here they are. Had a few different uh, style tires now. Um, and right now, these are these are actually my uh, my favorite. I'd say uh, not all that aggressive, but the uh, knobby tires I definitely did like, but they weren't quite as wide, um, and they wore down quick on pavement. So definitely good for off road, but uh, being that this is only driven by the rear two wheels, the front two just pretty much roll, roll and steer. So I really don't need grip up front really all that much except for steering. So I actually took a trip to Northern Tool, um, picked these up. They're 15 inch uh, by six and a half on a six inch rim. They came on new rims. And uh, another thing is that we needed new rims because the original rims for this cart uh, only had uh, spacers and little bushings inside that were plastic. I guess because this is a Yerf dog cart for little kids, uh, that glow is probably pretty slow. Factory. Now it's almost about a 40 mile an hour cart, full speed with me and my brother both, or you know, two full size adults or a full size adult in there. A little more weight and a little more speed, so it caused a lot of friction. And the front spindles got really hot. And actually, uh, the washers I used to space on the inside from the spindles um, were actually wearing down because it was metal on metal. So these new rims, I put packed bearings in them. Uh, and also our spindles are 5 8 grade 8 bolts. We had custom built, um, welded. And with these rims and tires, the tie rod ends were actually pretty close to the inside of the tires. So I actually uh, got longer bolts. Original spindles we had um, previously were 4 and a half inches long. These are 6 inches long to work with these wider tires you can tell it's their stance out a little bit more so um, but uh, yeah I actually like them I took it for a test run earlier and it actually handles a lot better uh, I don't know if it's just the wider tire and more contact on the pavement or what um, but it grips a lot better uh, I've adjusted the tie rods now with these and uh, I guess combination of all those things it actually turns tighter I don't know if it's just because it's gripping better now and versus pushing the front tires but definitely uh, definitely nice uh, so I kept the uh, knobby tires as spares anyways uh, but really impressed with these uh, and it was like a, only like hundred and seven dollars for the tires and the rims uh, out of the door after tax and all a northern tool and I went to fasten all, got the new bolts, uh, the washers, the, the lock nuts, uh, grade 8 bolts and nuts. Uh, and uh, rode it around, didn't get hot at all because the bearings, like I say, they allow the wheels to spin freely. Um, so really nice. It, it, even just rolling it around the driveway, uh, it rolls so much smoother. So uh, all you guys out there uh, trying to get your front end set up. As far as wheels, definitely go with bearings, uh, packed bearings in the in the rims. Uh, that's the way to go, uh, especially if you're, you know, going high speeds. Um, you know, an adult cart versus uh, kid cart. So, definitely necessary. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's the update for now, uh, and I'll uh, check in with you guys later. Make sure to uh, like the videos if you haven't checked out our other videos. Go ahead and check them out of our uh, go-kart builds. Go check out our channel. Subscribe. Uh, and uh, let us know what you guys think so far with the kart progress. Been a long time coming again. Uh, and uh, I guess really the only step now really is electrical. So uh, I know it's been a while since so I got another video up. But uh, that's uh, all the testing and test runs and figuring out this and that and what we want. And so that's what it's come to now. Hope you guys like it. Uh, go ahead and share the videos, and uh, I'll get back to you guys. Later.